Shadow Denial is a 2010 introduced and all-around character. She is a mummy, though born human, and a student at Monster High. She's the captain of the Fear Squad, and most noticeably, the most powerful member. As royalty, Cleo is unsurprisingly the queen of the student body, though few know her confidence is not as solid as she makes it seem to be. Cleo has a difficult relation with both her father, Ramses, who demands the best of and for her, and her older sister, Nephra, who cannot handle Cleo having any successes over her and as such regularly works to sabotage Cleo's efforts and undermine her self-esteem. Her mother, Dead Yet, is the only immediate kin she is on good terms with, but circumstances separated Dead Yet from the family for millennia. Cleo was a princess of Egypt over 5,800 years ago and raised with the knowledge she'd never be queen of her home, as that honor would befall her older sister Nephra, yet consequently with freedom to pursue her own interests. Source: One event highlighting the difference in the sisters' upbringing was when delegation from a far-off country arrived and gifted Nephra a corpse flower that was claimed to be a rare treasure only fit for a future queen. The flower became one of Nephra's most precious possessions, while Cleo instinctively developed acrimony for it. Life would not remain kind to the denials as trouble was brewing within the kingdom. Cleo's own uncle sought to overthrow Ramses' denial and found loyal followers among Ramses's own trusted advisors. The day the traitors committed their coup d'etat had been perfectly planned to remove the royal family before anyone knew what hit them. The chief advisor led Ramses and his daughters to underground quarters prepared to house them if they came under attack. Nonetheless, they woke up after 1,300 years, only to find the queen still missing and themselves trapped within the hiding spot. As Ramses began to spend his days looking for an exit, Cleo pessimistically enjoyed the luxuries of their prison, but Nephra was hit badly by both the loss of her mother and her future and spent most of her time talking to her corpse flower that she'd taken with her. An earthquake eventually damaged the prison enough to create a hole, allowing sunlight in. As the family rejoiced, the corpse flower awakened from her slumber and introduced herself as Ammonita Nightshade. She explained what truly happened during the coup d'etat, revealed that the family had been asleep for 1,300 years, and elaborated that About 4,500 years later, the family has relocated to New Salem. United States of Scare America. Though the throne of old is gone, the family has access to a large collection of magical artifacts that only works for them and over 10,000 servants, most of which apparently Ushabti. Cleo has easily adapted to her monster life, enjoying the riches of her temple and enjoying the life of a high schooler at Monster High, the prestige school of the Boo world, eventually finding interest Claude Wolf the co-captain of the basketball team, only to later dump him for his co-captain Deuce Gorgon, where she found love, that made her ascend in the social pyramid, making people realize that she was also a princess, making her incredibly popular, enough to join the fear-leading squad. Led by her sister, that, because of this, elected her for captain when she graduated. Since then, she's been either famous for her success and status or infamous for her less-than-kind personality. Cleo is extremely royal, so she expects everyone to treat her like it. Usually, her attitude is selfish, arrogant, and sassy, she can't be entirely blamed for her behavior because it's shown that she was raised to be like this. She is extremely competitive with other As royalty, Cleo is unsurprisingly the queen of the student body 
Though few know her confidence is not as solid as she makes it seem to be, she is easy to be taken by the insecurity of not being fit for leadership, had it not been for the support of her friends from the Fear Squad, the loyalty of her BFF Gulia, and the comfort of her boyfriend Deuce's embrace, Cleo's crown would have been crushed a long time ago. Cleo is aware she is lucky to have found people around her that allow her to flourish and while not always the most tactful, she is very protective of her crew. She can work well with others if they share a common goal, in which case she becomes the de facto leader of the ghouls. She's a highly effective organizer and a leader who will deviate between acting selfishly and selflessly, depending on her mood, which is easy to alter, as she is a tad tempered when fueled, and violent if upset. Additionally, she is stubborn and will only follow her rules if she feels like it, and she lacks when it comes to learning from her mistakes making the same mistakes of dodging responsibility and attempting to control others. It doesn't help she has access to limited amounts of magic through her magical amulets. In the webisode series of Monster High, Cleo is mainly known as the Queen Bee at school, having self-proclaimed popularity which is not untrue despite being self-proclaimed. Despite Cleo's personality overall, one of her true personality traits is that she is kind-hearted deep down with a true heart of gold, which is much more than what can be said about her sister Nefra, who, when asked about best friends in her profile bio, only said she ruled.